The other thing we got to talk about is have you guys seen these jungle changes? Have you guys seen these jungle changes by Mark Yetter? Anybody seen those yet? Jungle accessibility. One of our long-term goals is to increase position preference for jungle in low MMR. The fact that Riot's balancing the game for low MMR is kind of disgusting in its own right. If a low MMR player can't figure out how to make jungle work, then they're not trying very hard, are they? What do we got here? More forgiving jungle clears. With the current shorter jungle timers, the pace of farming and ganking has gone up considerably, which is bad for Ivern. That's bad for Ivern. Making every misstep a major setback for both jungler and their team. So jungle monster base attack damage reduced. Jungle monster attack damage. Camp respawn timer longer. This is good for Ivern. This is good for Ivern. Their camp respawn, it means they're gonna scale their levels lower, right? So this is good for Ivern because Ivern has to wait for his passive. So if it takes them longer for the camps to respawn, it lets Ivern have that extra 15 seconds basically cut off of his passives. So that's really good, actually. This is good for Ivern. Jungle gold from non-buff camps increase approximately 5%. This doesn't really matter because it's relative to everybody. Ivern plays with one less camp. So this, like the Krug users are the Krug users anyway. So that's that's where you'll find this. Camp right warnings timers. This is sucks for invading, but it doesn't really matter. Doesn't that provoke, promote more invades though? Um, does it promote more invades? It could. It could. So what this looks like to me is that they're making the first clear easier and so then everybody will be at the scuttle at the same time so that part kind of sucks for ivern right but what this does is it makes it so that they're more incentivized to clear their own camps rather than skipping camps to gank right because if it takes longer for the camps to pop up they need to choose their camps first and then gank so it makes them more predictable but it also means they're not going to just leave their camps up randomly to invade you right Champions that are going to invade you are going to invade you anyway, whether it's two minutes or 215. But what this does is you have this extra 15 seconds. So hopefully one of your groves will be done by the time they have time to invade you. So then maybe you'll be an extra level or maybe maybe you'll be able to get the gromp and survive the invade. That might actually help you out, right? The smite changes are right here. Widen the champion pool. We think less reliance on perfect AOE, kick clearing, or scuttle dominance will open up more champs. Smite along with crowd control will break scuttle crab shield before applying the damage. I mean, it doesn't matter for Ivern. This doesn't matter for Ivern. More healing on smite is nice. Uh, reduce snowball. Another factor that's causing too much stress, but also too much influence over the game is how hard the jungle position can snowball. We think reducing this will make the position easier to break into a more enjoyable long-term. Reintroducing comeback XP. Large monsters grant 50 XP per level below the average game, minus one. So you gotta remember, Ivern is always below the average level because Ivern kind of sits around like support level-ish. So this is really good because junglers are going to, because there's more incentive to take Krugs right here, junglers are going to want a full clear. Comeback XP is going to help Ivern because Ivern doesn't get Krugs. Smite damage to monsters, 390 to 1000 based on levels, 500 at base, 1000 after smite quest complete. How do I feel about that? How do I feel about that? This doesn't feel like it would do much, right? By the time you use your smite five times, aren't you already at the level where it's at 500? I mean, it speeds up the clear of the other champions. So that's kind of, to me that feels like a nerf to Ivern, but not really that much. Basically the catch up XP is a buff that is bigger than all of these mini nerfs combined. Is, is it a nerf to Ivern? Like, like it doesn't impact Ivern at all, but relative to other characters, if they have 500 at level one, the first smite they use is going to be more effective than it would otherwise have been. So it's just supposed to speed up the first couple of clears, I think, right? Both junglers will have the same smite amount for smite fights. Oh, wait, wait, it's not based on levels at all. It's just 1000 always. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't read this properly. Wait, it's 500 at base, then you smite five times, 
And it's always 1,000. Oh, wait, that's really good for Ivern. Wait, that's really good for Ivern. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, 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 I'm an idiot. 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 Oh, this is really good. You can contest every objective. So many, so many smite steals. Even if you're down three levels, you can still smite away the objective. Oh, that's so good. Plus... Wait, wait, wait. This is a buff for Ivern. This is a buff for Ivern. Yes, the other characters on their first clear might get an extra 110 damage. Doesn't matter, okay? Doesn't fucking matter. Who cares about that? Ivern always gets to the crab, like, at 250 anyway, so it doesn't matter. But what matters is, in a game that you are losing, if the enemy jungler is 12 and you're only level 9 and they've decided to do Baron, you have an equal shot at smiting that Baron. So it makes more 50-50 Barons more 50 50 dragons plus it makes it so Jin fourth shot and and um jinx r for example are less likely to steal early in the game late game they still do more than a thousand damage but earlier on in the game if you have a thousand on your smite it's going to help for that this is really good change i like this change a lot yeah, that's perfect. I mean, for everyone else who's not Ivern, that's kind of a bullshit change. So I know why they're like mad, <laughs> but that's really funny. For Ivern, that's great. All right, camp leashing clarity. This doesn't matter for Ivern either. Particularly important skill, optimization. While not removing the skill, we want to help newer junglers learn the rules and leash ranges of each monster camp. I mean, they have YouTube. They could just Google it. Why do you have to spoon feed them? When within 200 rays of common, a warning particle will appear to show the monster's leash range. I mean, that's just dumbing down the game to like bullshit levels of Fisher Price kitty time. Yeah, I hate that shit. Get rid of this change. This is garbage. Okay, so I mean, this is a buff for Ivern. Overall, this is a big ol' Ivern buff. Yeah, this is Fisher Price League. But this is a big ol' Ivern buff overall. Like, this makes Ivern playable at high MMRs. This is a nerf to every fucking jungler versus ivern <laughs> wait that's pog all right let's go that's sick i like that i mean overall it's shit for the game i think it's shit for the game but it's good for ivern it's pretty shit for the game though i'll be honest with you guys if you guys play anything other than ivern you're probably fuming at those changes